Well, hello, and welcome to the uh, Underwood Baptist Church devotional series for Thursday, the October the 21st, 2021. I hope you're having a great day so far. This week, uh, through our devotional series, we've learned from Brother David that uh, <clears throat> learning God's will for our lives it comes from a willingness and a faithfulness, a submission, that is, to his word. Um, Brother Danny talked about different roads um, and different tracks, and what will our story be when viewed in the life to come? Brother Adam taught and spoke about the Lord's return, Jesus' return, that it's sure that we can count on it. Um, and hopefully that we'll be doing what we should be doing and we'll be in the right place doing it when he does come. So with that said, if you have your Bibles, find um, Proverbs, the 16th chapter. And I'm going to go all the way to the end of the chapter, Proverbs 16. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. It's a little bit of a peculiar verse. Um, but the basic idea here is, you know, even though we don't use the verbiage of casting lots in our modern vernacular, uh, casting lots was, it, it was a role in ancient times of making decisions. And every decision should have the Lord in mind. Uh, casting the lots was um, a method to determine God's will, if you will, in ancient times. And all that were involved in the casting of the lots were supposed to accept the outcome of how the lot fell. <clears throat> well, let's back up and, uh, to verse 32 in Proverbs, the 16th chapter. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And, <clears throat> and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. So he that's slow to anger would imply a person that thinks, that is slow to anger and that is in control of his spirit in order to do right. He or she thinks before doing. I mean, shouldn't a Christian be going through life with the mind of Christ? I mean, after all, we're to do justly, to love mercy and walk humbly with our God. So let's consider, who knows best? Is it you? Is it me? Or is it the Lord? Is it the God who is eternal? Should you handle all things in your strength, with your experiences, with your wisdom? I mean, you're an adult, right? Uh, you've put in your time, right? But what about the one that created time? If you have your Bible still open, flip over to Psalms 104. Psalms 104. Let's see here. Let's pick up in verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed in honor and majesty, who covereth thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariots, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angel spirits his ministers of flaming fire, who layeth the foundations of the earth, that it should not be removed forever. Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled. At the voice of thy thunder they cast away. They go up by the mountains. They go down by the valleys into the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they <clears throat> turn not again to cover the earth. He sendeth the spirits into the valleys which rung among the, the hills. <clears throat> Sorry, he sendeth the springs into the valleys which rung among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quenches their thirst. By them shall the fowls of, the, of heaven 
have their habitations, which sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy work. He causes the grass to grow for cattle, the herbs for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. The wine that maketh uh, glad the heart of man and the oil that make his face to shine and the bread which strengtheneth the man's heart. The trees of the Lord, <coughs> excuse me, are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he planteth, where the birds make their nest. For the stork, the fir tree, is her house. The high hills are refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the conies. He appointeth the moon for seasons, and the sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest the darkness, it, and it is night. Therein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. The sun riseth. They gather themselves together and lay down in their dens. Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So who knows better? Grade your paper. What do you think? Let's pray. Dear blessed Heavenly Father, how exciting the day is and how we're reminded how new it is every single day that you allow us to get up and to experience the gift of the day. Help us just to do that, to have a mind of Christ as we go throughout this day. And Lord, that we would be able to bring others to you and to bring you honor and glory. We love you and thank you for all that you give us. And we are also mind, mindful to pray for those that are afflicted, that you raise them up for your honor and glory, that they would be able to point to the physicians, to the nurses, to all those that are in, in the capacity of healing and say, look what the Lord did through you to heal me. Just please, please, please raise them up from those beds of affliction. And Lord, I love you. In Jesus' name we pray and ask these things. Amen. So, always know that you're cherished that you're loved beyond words. The church loves you, I love you, but more importantly, your Heavenly Father loves you. So live today as a person of value that chooses wisdom. Keep God in your, forethought, or in your forethoughts and so that your actions reflect Him, that you can point others to Him and bring Him glory. Isaiah, the 30th chapter, you can find this verse. Thine ear shall hear the word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. And when ye turn to the right hand or to the left, walk in the Lord and have a blessed day.